Good. Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to talk about application of normal distribution. So here I go. Applications of the normal distribution. Okay. Convert values from a normal distribution to Z scores. Well, you can calculate Z using this formula. Remember, Z is a standard normal variable or Z score is given by take any value X from that, subtract the mean, how much the number X deviates from the mean. That difference, that deviation is divided by standard deviation. So basically Z, if it is positive, it tells you how many standard deviations the number X is above the mean on the right-hand side of the mean. And if Z is negative, how many standard deviation below the mean that's on the left of the mean? How many standard deviations? So Z basically gives you how many standard deviation. If it is positive, it's on the right of the mean. If it is negative, the number is on the left of the mean. And this process is called standardization. Okay. So here is an example, text for a compact fluorescent bulb to reach full brightness is normally distributed mean of 29.8 seconds, standard deviation 4.5 seconds, randomly selected bulb takes 28 seconds. So X value is 28. So we have to Z score for X of 28. So how to calculate Z? We can do it in single shot if you put the left parenthesis first, and then the X value is 28. From that, you subtract the mean, which is 29.8. Close the right parenthesis. Then divide by the standard deviation, which is 4.5. And the answer for Z is minus 0.4. Notice it's negative. Notice also that the particular value of X, 28, is less than the mean. Hence, the Z score is negative. Now, Z score of minus 0.4 means it is the 28 is 0.4 standard deviation below the mean on the left of the mean. Okay. So we are not going to use the table. So let's forget that. So TI-84. On TI-84 calculator, normal CDF command is used to find areas under a normal curve. Four numbers must be used as input. The first entry is lower boundary. Second entry is upper boundary or upper bound of the area. The last two entries are the mean and the standard deviation. The command is accessed by pressing second verse. So a study reported that the length of the pregnancy from conception to birth is approximately normally distributed with mean 27, 272 days and standard deviation of nine days. What proportion of uh, pregnancies last longer than 280? Notice 280, the number X is greater than the mean. So it's on the right of the mean. Farther, we want proportion of pregnancies more than 280 days. So we are on the right of 280. So we go to second verse, go down to number two. We start from 280, that is my lower boundary, lower bound. And the upper bound or upper boundary is a very large number on the right, which I, as I explained before is one, then second button and comma button. Where is the comma button? On top of the seven button. That gives you the E. This E is exponent. And then you type 99. That means one followed by 99 zero. A very large number on the right. The mean is no longer zero. It is not a standard normal curve. Mean is 272. And the standard deviation is nine. And I go down to pest and hit enter and enter twice. And the area is 0.187 on the right of 280 under the normal curve. What does it mean? Approximately 18.7% of the pregnancies will last more than 280 days. Okay, the length of pregnancy, the same information. Mean is still 272. Standard deviation is 9. It wants to find what proportion of pregnancies will Last between 252 is the lower boundary, 298 is the upper boundary. So second verse two, mean, uh, well, no, not mean. First, the lower boundary starts from 252. 
standard deviation, and we'll worry about it later. Lower boundary is 252, upper boundary is 298, because that's the area we want to find under the standard, under the normal curve between 252 and 298. Mean is 272, standard deviation is 9, paste, enter, and enter. So about 98.5% of the pregnancies will last between 252 and 298 days. We don't about Excel, worry about Excel, so we leave this. <coughs> then we go straight, uh, find the value from a normal distribution corresponding to a given proportion. This is like finding the Z when the area to the left of the Z is given. Okay, but here we will be dealing with a regular normal distribution, not a standard normal distribution or Z distribution. The in norm command on the TI-84 plus calculator returns the value from the normal population with a given area to its left. This command takes three values as its input. The first value is the area to the left. The second and the third values are the mean and standard deviation respectively. This command is accessed by pressing second verse. Scores on an IQ test are normally distributed with mean of 100, standard deviation 15, what separates the upper 2%, that means the top 2%, area on the curve is 2% or 0 0.02. Then the area to the left of that unknown x is 1 or minus 0 0.02, which is 0.98. So always area to the left of the unknown x. So second verse 3, area is 0.98, mean is uh, 200, and standard deviation is 15. Paste, enter and enter <coughs> and the uh, x score is 130.8 what does it mean anybody getting a score less uh, less than 130.8 is in the 98th percentile anybody with a score above 130.8 or 131 is in the top 2% so here they want to find out the iq scores that separate the middle 90% from the <clears throat> middle 90% from of the scores from the top and bottom 5%. So area in each tail is 0 0.05. So they want to find X1 and X2. Again, second verse 3 <clears throat> to find X1, which is the boundary for the left tail. Area in the left tail is 0 0.05. Mean and standard deviation do not change. Paste, enter, and enter. And that score is 75.327. <clears throat> How about X2? Area to the left of it is the area in the center, which is 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. Area in the center is 0.9, middle 90%. And then we have area in the left tail, which is 0 0.05. Total area to the left of X2 is then 0 0.9 plus 0 0.05 is 0 0.95. So second verse 3, area is now 0 0.95. Why? Area to the left of X2, I want to find out. Area in the center is 0 0.9 plus area in the left tail is 0 0.05. That is 0 0.95. That's why we plug in for the second X2 value area to the left as 0 0.95. And I paste enter and enter. And the answer is 124.673 or 125. Okay. We're not going to you worry about it. Excel. So that's it. That's it for today. If you have any question or comment, please write me a note. If you like this video, please share with your friends. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And you and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button. And please also do not forget to hit the bell button. Please click on the bell because that will notify you every time I upload a new video, which I do almost every day. Thanks for watching and please do not forget to check me out tomorrow and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner.